Okay, hi everyone! Welcome back! It's me again, Teacher Miss, and welcome to module number 3 of our financial plan training. So, again, this is already in module number 3, so if you miss other modules, the link is in the description box. And um, if you have questions, you may just uh, comment your questions so that uh, other others can also see your comments. Again, this financial training is specially made for the students of Holy Cross of Double College. And uh, the format is made by me. You may or may not adopt the form format, so I will just have to teach you how to use the Excel template. Okay, so now we're done with the first two, the general instruction format and how to continue start up cost and capitalization. We'll proceed with how to prepare sales projection and cost of sales. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so for this video, we will use two uh, sheets in this template, the sales of and COS sheet and the cost sheet. So this is uh, specifically intended for the discussion of, for those of you who will be using, uh, who will have a business nga kamu ang magbuhat sa product, but not necessarily manufacturing such as food business like tea, um, milk tea, mga food businesses, mga ginabake, those things. Uh, okay, ito, ito, this is an example of a kanang chili garlic nga business nga dili siya buy and sell. Sila jud ang nagbuhat sa garlic. So, they have to compute for the costing. So, before we go to costing, let's go first to sales. Now, as much as possible, make your products kanang konti lang. Yan. Kasi, this is for business plan purposes. Hindi naman kailangan na unana, daghan jud kayo ang products ngayon yung ibutang. So, that will be, that has to be in consistency with your discussion sa inyong niche. Diba? Kasi diba, you, you lower, your, you segment your market until you find your niche. So, kung unsa lang to yung niche mo, lang po to siya ang product na inyong ibuta. So, if you, it's supposed to be kasi, you're supposed to have a survey, and then those uh, that is the highest, we go to first three or five products in yung highest in your survey, mo to siya yung appeal sa inyong business plan. But since you didn't do that, uh, so that's okay. But, I suggest really uh, offer a few products kasi the, ma the more mahaba siya mas mahaba ang gagawin ninyo okay so um mas mahaba ito uh, i'll I'll let you see one that i made na daghan kayo siya product okay kani pareha ani o ang business niya is tea shop and he sells milk tea and snacks and add-ons. So, daghan na kayo nino. Tapos, lahi man ang pricing sa iyang walk-in o sa iyang grab food. So, taas kaayo ang iyang report. Yan. Tapos, di ba, sa milk tea, lahi po ang, lahi ang, ang iyang milk tea is, sorry, sa to iyang sales. Ang milk tea niya is na regular na large. Tapos, lahi pa yun ang price sa walk-in o sa the grab food. So, ayan. Kaya din ito, na pa jay regular, na pa jay large. So, the more, the, the more your products are, the more uh, complicated it can get. Yan. So, hindi ko naman sinabi kung usa dyan yun yung gusto na product yan. But, make it as simple as possible. Pareha, ay, ni kanila man yung product. Yan, tulo lang yung product, garlic lang. Anyway, so, to use, in order to use this format, you have to list down all your products here. Make sure nga, uh, this is aligned with the products a description in yung chapter sa inyong financial plan. So, let's say sa inyong products and services, you have five products, product A, B, C, D, E. Dapat ang presentation po din yung dari, uh, product A, B, C, D, E. Para si panel na nagatan o sa financials is makita niya if consistent ba ang imuhang ginabuhat sa imuhang paper and sa financial plan. Okay, so, you will write here your products. This is the summary of distribution. So, why do we prepare this report? Appendix na ni siya, ha? So, this is the basis for the computation of the quantity. So, this is your sales projection. Okay, your sales projection will include same lang siya sulod. Kung sa sulod dali sa distribution. And then, the selling price and the quantity. So, the question now is, how do you compute for the quantity? Pila dapat ka buok na chili, garlic, turmeric ang mahalin? For year one. So, kaya tayo nag-prepare ng distribution. So, nakabutan diri a ah, C Appendix C Summary of Distribution. So, ito din yun. So, kani siya nga particular nga product, tatlo lang ni siya. So, you have to uh, add lines. So, right-click lang and then insert kung more than ana ang imong product. And again, control D to copy the formula above. So, kung magbutang ka diri a ah, 
Yan. So, oh, mukumpute po na siya. Sorry. Yan. Mukumpute po na siya. Okay. Anyway, balik ta. So, what are the things that you need to remember here? First is, tapat ang distribution niya is equal to 100. So, kung i-add ni mo niya tanan, yan. This should be equal to 100. So, ibig sabihin sa distribution, paano ni mo gina-distribute ang imuhang product? So, let's say, you have 5 products, na, uh, let's say, you have 5 products, turmeric, garlic sauce, uh, meaning ani, sa sa turmeric, sa iya, tanan doon yung product, 45% sa ilang mga customers will prefer garlic. So, normally, kaning distribution will be based on um, survey. But since nga, wala kayo nag-survey, so, so, you can just interview someone with similar uh, similar business to ask for the distribution. Or, if you don't want to interview, you can find secondary data. As long as na I reference. So, if panel will ask you, as a nigika na distribution, you will be able to answer. Okay. Okay. So, also, you have to assign pila ka buok ang quantity. So, this one, the total of this one, the total of, the total number of products in a year. And then, you have to make an assumption kung pila ka buok ang inyong mahalin sa isa ka adlaw. Okay. So, example, kani siya kay Gibaligya Manini on a per box. So, number of boxes sold per month is 30 boxes. Yan. Per month is 30 boxes times 24 pieces per box. That is 720 times 12 months. That is 8,640. So, uh, you can also do this on a per daily basis. Uh, if if a business team has volume, volume siya, let's say, every day you siya ay halin, you can use daily sales. So, you can write, let's say, number of, uh, let's say, milk tea ang inyong business. You can just write uh, number of cups per day times number of days times 12 months. So, that will be your computation for the number of years. So, well, don't forget to change this one ha, depende kung unsa ang inyong ginabaligya. Okay? But anyway, so let's say, let's say milk tea nyo ha, number of days is, let's say per day you can sell 50 cups. So, times number of days in a month. Now, generally, if every day mo mag-open, <coughs> sorry, Okay, now you have to be consistent with your operational plan. Under operational plan, pag nakalagay doon na, na every day mo open, so that means your daily volume times 30. So let's say for milk tea, that's 50 times 30. Uh, 50 times 30, that's 1,500 per month times 12 months. That will be your volume or in a year. So this volume here will be the one na imuhang ibutang dito sa marketing, market share computation sa demand supply. If you watch the video that, uh, if you watch the recording of the financial plan training for demand supply, uh, which is also part of this entire series, nakalagay doon na sales projection is connected to your market share. So, mo ni sila ang mag-connect. Kung pila yung mag-ibutan din na volume, mo na siya ang mag-connect dito uh, sa dito sa inyong market share. Now, this is a very simple presentation of sales projection. Now, if you have questions, especially pagdaghan in your product, please comment below or you can catch me through our Facebook page. That is the, the name of the Facebook page is Teacher Miss. You can PM me there and I will reply. Ako lang man ang admin ato, so I most probably mabasahan dyan na ako. Okay? So, kana lang siya. So, once you do, so makita ni mo dali, uh, 8640. Meaning, ani, di ba, ang, ang kani siya kay chili garlic pa na a uh, number of bottles in a year is 8,640. So, sa 8,640, 45% ana ang nagapalit og chili garlic turmeric, which is 3,800 ka na siya ang iyahang, cost, uh, iyahang distribution. So, this will be your quantity. So, kana na na tayo mabutan dali, di ba? Ang question nato kaganiha is, asa na ito kuha ng quantity sa sales projection? That is coming from this report. Kana siya. So, yun. Okay, so again, again, if magdugangan inyo hang product, you just have to add lines in here and then drag. But first, kani inyo ang una i add. Let's say kani, naka another chili. Let's say 30% na lang niya and then 15. So, copy and then control D. So, upat na siya diri no. Diri sa taas, ma insert po mo isa. Right, right click insert. And then, Control-D. 
And then, mo-follow lang na siya. C8640 gihapon ni. And so, sa cost, dari na nakabutang ang product costing. So, in this particular example, uh, isa-isa niya ang pila ang cost sa pagbuhat sa product. So, gibuhat na niya, isa ka-batch man niya. And then, ang total cost niya is 265. And then, it can make 13 bottles. So, ayan. So, gibuhat niya cost. And then, cost per bottle will be 34 point uh, sorry. Ang ingredients niya is coming from here. So, di ba? Sa 265, 13 bottles man ang iyang mabuhat. So, meaning, 20.39 iyang cost per bottle plus the bottle plus the plastic seal and the sticker paper. So, that means, ang isa ka garlic turmeric, uh, chili garlic turmeric, ang cost niya per bottle is 34.54. And then this. So, meaning, ani, the more na daghan inyong product nga buhaton, the more nga daghan ang inyong buhaton nga inyong ani. So, again, this is the very tricky part. Actually, this part of the financial plan is mo ni siya ang pinakalisod. Okay? Dahap, dapat medyo kabalo mo sa Excel. So, importante lang, Ana, kanilang ang inyong usabon and this should be correct. So, kung mag-insert mo, always check that the total is from the first item to the last. Same here with cost of sales. And this one. Yan. So, medyo tricky ni siya nga chapter, uh, kanil siya nga module. Medyo tricky ni siya na module. So, if you have questions, please Comment lang po. Okay? So, yan. Just make sure, actually, if matama lang imuhang diri sa baba, you will be fine. So, do not ever change this one because this is connected to your profit and loss here. So, kana siya. Okay? Again, I will mention the limitation of this template. This is prepared for none but None but businesses only. So ideally, dapat ay nyo hang year 1, 2, 3 nga revenue should be less than 3 million. Otherwise, you will not be able to use this format because you need to have the format with VAT. VAT, VAT, with VAT. Yun po. Okay? So, um, that will be all for sales projection and costing. Okay. Uh, just explore this one. Okay? Pero if you are selling, ma'am, what if ang amuang ginabaligya is product na wala, dili kami ang mag-costing. Let's say, mupalit lang yung chili garlic, tapos amu lang siyang ibaligya na po. So, yung mura, buy, buy, buy and sell lang mo. You don't need to prepare for this one. You just need to list down your, ano, you list down your, your products and its corresponding cost. So, don't need now for uh, detailed product costing. Okay. Why do we have to, to have to do this right? Okay, uh, this is a very critical niya nga report because your sales projection is connected to your demand supply if you're preparing the demand supply. Otherwise, your sales projection is where all of your items are based. Actually, ang panel, pag dili sila con convinced sa imong sales projection, dili na na nila tanahawan ang laing part sa financial plan because all of those are depending on this report. So, you have to do this right. Okay, now, why do we have to prepare for cost of sales? The reason why you have to prepare for cost of sales is para, uh, sorry, not cost of sales. Why do you have to prepare for costing? The reason is para tama ang costing ninyo and then tama po inyo ang pricing. Yan. And if you're if you're doing a business na ginapak, do not forget to include sa cost ang cost sa packaging. So example, if you're selling milk tea, the cost of the lid, the seal, the sticker, the cup should be included. Yan. Don't forget that one. Yun lang po. So, if you have questions, please comment down below or you may contact me. All of my contact information and the rest of other modules are posted in the, in the description box. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. This is Teacher Miss. Thank you very much. Goodbye.